In this video, we're going to attempt to combine functions using various operations. We have f of x equals x squared minus x minus 2, and g of x equals x plus 1, and we're going to attempt to find f plus g of 3. And what this really means, this notation is asking us to find, is take this negative 3 and plug it into the f function, also plug it into the g function, and then add the two answers together. So let's do that. Let's first do the f of negative 3. That means we're going to plug this negative 3 in for x in the f equation. So each of these x's get replaced with a negative 3. So x squared becomes negative 3 squared minus x, or minus negative 3 minus 2. Negative 3 squared is 9. Minus negative 3 minus 2, well, if we add the opposite, 9 plus 3 is 12, and 12 minus 2 is 10. So f of negative 3, that's 10. We still need to figure out what the other half is, the g of negative 3. That means we're going to plug negative 3 into the g function. That's the second function. g of x, or g of negative 3, Replacing the x with negative 3 becomes negative 3 plus 1, and negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. Now, what this function is asking us to do is to add these two results together, add f of 3 plus g of negative 3. So f of 3, that was, or f of negative 3, that was 10. And then we add g of negative 3, which was negative 2, and 10 plus negative 2 is 8. This is our final solution for this notation of f plus g of negative 3. Simply being asked to plug negative 3 in both the f and g functions, and then add that result together. We can use this idea with any operation in the center. For example, let's do one with multiplication. If h of x is equal to 2x minus 4, and k of x is equal to negative 3x plus 1, let's find h times k of... let's plug the number 5 in there. h times k of 5. Well, what this means is take this 5 and plug it into both h and k. In other words, find h of 5 and k of 5, and the operation between them... whoops... the operation between them is multiplication, so h of 5 times k of 5. So, let's find out what h of 5 is first. That means we're going to plug 5 into the h function for every one of the x's. So h of 5 is equal to 2x, or 2 times 5 minus 4. Order of operations, 2 times 5 is 10 minus 4, and that gives us 6. So h of 5 is 6. We still need to figure out what k of 5 is. That means we're going to take k and plug the number 5 into the k function for each of the x's. So we have negative 3x, which is now negative 3 times 5, plus 1. Order of operations has us multiply first, gives us negative 15 plus 1, which is negative 14. We have our answer for k of 5. Now we just have to look and say, what operation do we want to do with both these results? We are asked, in this case, to multiply the results together. So 6 and negative 4, h of 5 was 6, times negative 14, that's the k of 5, which is negative 84. And we got that answer by plugging our number into both h and k, and then we do the operation listed in the middle. In the first example, we added the results together, and in this example, we multiplied our results together. We can do any operation, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing of functions, following this exact same pattern.